Hello everybody, I'm here for my third workout video. Now I made two in the past, and that was two years ago when I was 265 pounds I believe, and I'm 235 now. Today I didn't feel like really going to the gym because I wasn't feeling too well, but I still want to work out. Today I have shoulders, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you this whole workout, now it's going to be like an hour. Without further ado, let's get into it. First I have my pre-workout, I already drank it, it's really red, but I always drink so there's just a little bit left and then for the rest of the back of the water just so I can have it throughout the workout but I drink like five of these every workout but today I'm only going to be using one because I'm not going to be vigorous throughout this whole workout because I'm going to be stopping explaining it to you guys and everything first you need some lightweight I've got 10s you can use 10s, 12s, 5s, 8s, 3s whatever but you need light, lightweight you need heavyweight I've got 30 pound dumbbells they were about 31 pounds, but uh, you can use 20s, 25s, 30s, 35, 40s. I'm going to go over 40 though. And you need yourself bands. I've got, you know, ranging from heavy, medium, light. Now that you have those, let's really get into it. What I like to do is uh, warm up. What you can do, you don't really have to do what I do. This is what I do for shoulders. Shoulder roll 10 times back nice and slow. And shoulder roll frontwards nice and slow. Bring your arms out and just... Rotate like that, 10 times forward, 10 times back. And do some ballistic stretching. Just to really loosen up your joints and everything. Okay. Now if you want, I don't really like running in place and jumping jacks, but you can go ahead and do some jumping jacks or run in place to really get your body warmed up. So let's get started with the first exercise. Grab your heavy weights. You're going to be want to use something light enough so you can do 10 reps three times, but something heavy enough where it will hurt the last three reps. So as you begin, you're going to call do uh, Arnold presses. And it looks like this. You bring it up. You don't really click it though. And then bring it back down. And you do that 10 times. So now you can do it sitting down or you can do it standing up. I have one foot in front of the other for my Left foot is in front, left right foot in back. Let's go. That's one. Second set. Third set. Now. With those, you don't have to do exactly 40 pounds each set of 10. You can up it by 5 pounds each time, or you can down it by 5 pounds each time. So, uh, I kept it the same this time, but it's just a thought. So next, grab your lightweight. I got my 10s. We're going to do what's called three-way. I just call it that, but I do this a lot in the gym. You want to have it down like this and bring it out straight. And then bring it out to the side. And then an upright row. Make sure your elbows are higher than your hands. But that's just one rep. And then one in ten. So make sure you grab a reasonable weight. Ten. Now, now with that, you don't have to do three sets. That's just a lightweight exercise, and it requires a lot of reps. After that, what I like to do is heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light. When I do home workouts, I always go heavy, heavy, heavy in the gym. But the home workouts, I don't, I don't really do what I do in the gym because I don't have extremely heavy weight at home. So I just improvise. Excuse me. Anyway, exercise three. Now, you can do this with heavy weight. About 20s, 30s. I'm going to use a band so I can you guys to see how to do it with the band. I'm using the heavy band. I'm going to want to stand on it evenly. So make sure you have even amount of tension on both sides. Even amount of tension. You want to bring it up and do one arm at a time. One, one. And you're going to do that 10 times. So do it. Two, two. Make sure you come out just like that too. You don't want to come out hard and slam though. Bands down and say no, no, you can injure yourself. 
So take a break, and we have two more times to go. For the second set, I'm showing you lightweight, just in case somebody wants to use lightweight for this. Hold it up, and then, and So, that was the second set. Now we're on to the third set. Okay, third set, I'm gonna do it with the heavy weights, so you can see that it can be done any way. And that is the end of that one. Anybody wondering, it's called shoulder press. Okay, next is shoulder shrugs. Again, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do three sets. This is gonna be max reps, so you're gonna keep on going until you can't go nowhere. But be careful, I'll show you how to exit when you're done. First, I'm gonna start off with the band. A lot of people don't really know you can do shoulder shrugs with the band. People think you need extremely heavy weights to do it, but you don't really need it. If you don't want any. So what are you gonna do? You can take the band, and just increase the tension. Now, I have a medium band. Medium or light will work perfectly with this. You don't really need to edit when you, you step on it. It will create a lot of tension. And for me, it really feels like your shoulders are being forced down. So it's good. You don't want it too tight, of course, but if you're able to do some shrugs just like this, it really feels like you have weight in your hands. So all you need to do is do max reps. Make sure you bring in your shoulders to your ears, okay? Don't half ass it. I see people are going to do this all the time with very heavy weights. You want to be able to bring that rate up. When you back out, you step off, release the tension. Don't let it flail up, hit yourself in the face. All right, second set. I'm going to use light weight. Now these are 10 pounds. For shoulder shrugs, these are really light. So I might have to do a lot of these in order to feel the burn, but I know a lot of people you don't need lightweight. So we'll start here. You just need your light weight and start your shrugs. And you just do it to your max. Now also, if you want, you could uh if you want to split it up, you can uh, there's three moves you can do that are really good with shoulder shrug. There's a shrug with the actual shrug going up. And the roll, so you do the same thing with the uh warm-up. Going back. You can do 10 this way, 10 back, and then 10 forward. I do that at the gym sometimes. I always like to mix it up. So that's the third step I'm doing with the heavy weights. You now at the gym, I usually do barbell and 315 pounds for 10 reps. So this is only 60 pounds. Combine. Um, I just go until I can't go no more. Sometimes it isn't even 10 reps, you know, in case I'm tired, but just go until you can't really go no more. But be safe about it. And that is the end of set three for that. Okay, so the uh, next exercise. Next exercise will be, this one is one of my favorite ones because the burn is so intense. And you're gonna also do three sets of max. You do it for a warm up. Looks like this. As well as going back, excuse the loose skin. Okay, but you're gonna add a little bit of weight to it. You can use bands. You can use a, two knees filled up with water. You don't need heavy weight. You can use any two things that have the same amount of weight so you can it can be equal when you're holding it out. Or you can just use your arms. Your arms have enough weight, you just do your max rep. They're called circles. It's basically circles. For well, the weight, they're obviously called weighted circles. So we're gonna do some weighted circles. For my first set, I'm gonna use the light weight. I've got 10 pounds. You don't really need to go over anything over 12, okay? We're gonna do max forward, take a little tiny break, do max back, okay? Here we go. Take a break, back. Make sure when you're doing it too, you keep your arms completely straight as you can. Try not to bend it. Try not to go down and do circles down here. You want them straight out, doing so. When you're gonna shake, it's fine. But make sure you listen to your body when you're ready to go down, go down slow. And that is round one. So excuse me, set one.
second set, I'm using the medium band. Make sure you feed it even, tension on both sides as even as you can get it. Bring it out, pour it as much as you can do. Bring it down, back as much as you can do. And go down slow. Good. That is the second set. So the third set, I'm using a light band. It makes it so I can do some more reps. You don't have to do this, but I'm just showing different varieties of doing it. So third set, again, you step on and make sure the tension on both sides is even. Bring it out as much as you can do. One front legs. Keep your arms straight. Bring it down when you're done. After a small break, bring it back up. Go back as much as you can do. Make sure you keep your goddamn arms straight. Good is the end of that exercise. Half the next exercise. Are you gonna need some light? You can use. I mean, at the gym, I use 20s, 25s, 30s. Sometimes I use 10s. It just depends what you're feeling. If you're using lightweight, you're gonna want reps 10, 10, 10. If you're using heavy, this is what I do at the gym: eight, five, three. And that's what you want for anything heavy if you're doing strength training. What we're doing here today is basically just basic weight training. I got 10 pounds. You're gonna do this once for each arm, 10 reps, one arm, 10 reps, the other arm. And you're gonna hold on. I have a desk right here I can hold on to. You can hold on to a chair, you can hold on to a TV, I have a TV right here, but you can hold on to anything else. You don't wanna hold on to something that's this low. It's basically the height of your body. I got something here, so I'm gonna hang on right here so you can see. Make sure your arms straight with your body, 90 degree angle, and you're gonna raise. It up just like this to make sure it's straight come back down 10 reps 2 10 switch arms 10 that is the end of the first set all right so second set i'm using bands to show you how it's done with bands i have the heavy band you can use heavy medium light but you want to be able to get to 10 so make sure you pick something reasonable again this one, you don't really need anything to hang on to because you're going to have the balance of your band. This arm stays stationary. This one's gonna come up. Now, I have bands that are uh, these, okay? If yours don't do that, that's fine. You can keep your hand like this the whole time and bring it up. But if your bands are able to do this, you wanna keep it like this. So it kind of mimics it if you have a weight in it. So you can flip your wrist as well. Okay, we'll do 10 times that side. This goes stationary, you do the same thing with this one. 10 times. So go ahead and do it. Flip sides. That was the end of round two for that exercise. Now here's round three. I'm gonna try a heavy weight so I can show you that it can be done with a heavy weight. I usually do 30s for my last set, and these are 30s right here. So again, you do a chair, a bench, or anything that's level with the bar. Again, bring it up. I'm going for three reps because this is what I usually do with a heavy weight. One, two, three. I go for five because I got good form. Switch sides. Four. Uh, and that is the end of that exercise. With that exercise, you don't really want heavy weight if you're new to it, so focus on the bands or the lighter weight. Okay, we're going to finish off with an exercise of uh, soap depressor. I'm going to start with the heavy weights. I can show you with the light weight, and I'll show you with the band for last. Since I'm tired, I'm going down to eight reps to make sure I stay safe. You know, overdo myself. And uh, this is how you do it. You want to bring it up. And just raise it. Roof like this. End of round one of the exercise. So the second time, I'm going to show you lightweight for anybody that wants to use lightweight. I'm going to do uh, 10 reps. Again, bring it up. You just want to bring it together. Rest. 
And that is the end of round two. Round three, I'm using heavy bands. Show the band formation of it. Again, you can use whatever feels comfortable for you to be able to get at least 10 reps out of it. What we do, we bring it up to the back. Do your process just like this, just 10. Like I said, don't ever come out of it hard. Now that was the last one, but I changed my motherfucking mind. All right, we're gonna do one more last thing. I'm gonna show you with lightweight. I'll show you with the band and I'll show you with heavy weight. Again, like I always say, I get three different uh, perspectives from it. Lightweight, again. This one, 10 reps. Everything mostly in this exercise is 10 reps, okay? With three sets. So what you're gonna do, you have your arms up straight. I put one foot in front of the other, catch balance when doing it. Bring your right arm up, straight. Left arm up. That's one rep. You can do that 10 times. And that's 10. Second set, heavy weights. Now with these weights that I have, I can still do 10 with them each side, but I'll usually pick a weight where I can do with like the second, third set. Again, about five reps, about three reps. That's one because I do strength training. Like I said, this workout is about weight training, so everything is 10 reps. So again, I got my 30s. And even though it's heavy weight, I just want to show you guys that you guys can do it. If it's heavy, you want your form to be good. You don't want to, because that can obviously cause injury. So don't do that. That's end of round two. Remember, when it comes to any kind of weight training, strength training, exercise. You want quality over quantity. That's why it's important to so always pick a reasonable weight, put your ego aside, make sure you do it right. Quick story, when I first started out squats, I didn't listen to that. I was doing 315 pounds for a squat, but I only get down about two inches and then come back up. Which is not a squat, because you want ass to grass when doing squat, or parallel. I didn't do that, nearly injured myself in my back, so I didn't, I jeopardized basically me ever doing squats again. So I actually take that advice now to always do quali uh, quality over quantity. And the most I squat now is 245 pounds. I probably don't even go over that anymore. I want my quality to be good. So always pay attention to your quality. Forget your fucking quantity. Third set with the bands. Again, if your band can do this, this is good because you can just bring it out just like this. If not, this is perfectly fine too. So, you get, again, 10 reps. And that would be it. That is the end of the workout. The cool down. All you need to do, again, the same thing you did when you warmed up. Just a little bit slower, take your time, get your breath, <laughs> breathe in and out, and just go slow. Okay? Wave your arms around slowly. Back and forth. Whatever you feel for you. Whenever you're done a workout, especially if your heart's pumping, you don't ever just want to stop. And you want to be able to slow your heart rate down in a reasonable way. And that can be done when you step inside the side, laying your arms around, breathing in and out slowly. And your heart rate will start to go down. It actually feels better too, trust me. That is the end of the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anybody has any questions, comments about the workout, always you can always ask a question down there. I don't know anything else. If you think the workout needs work, always open to criticism. What I want to do is I just want to show people that because I, I if you have a background like I did of being obese, working out at home can really benefit you to be able to want to work out in public, like the gym. This is where I started was at home. 
I want to be a personal trainer myself. I've lost 115 pounds. I'm actually losing more, aiming toward my goal. So yeah, I do. Of course, you guys saw it when I was working out, loose skin. I have it everywhere in my body, chest, stomach, arms, legs, but I've gotten used to it. It's so much better than being obese, and I actually feel more comfortable this way than I did being obese. So, but I also want to instill that I mean, you don't even need to do half this workout. All you need to do is 15 minutes a day or 15 minutes a couple times a week. You just need to start somewhere. And I really want to help people do that because I was in a bad place. And I understand what people go through. Everybody has their own story to tell. But mine, I want to be able to share with people and get them to work out. Working out, it's fun. It really eases your mind. You feel in the zone. In the gym, it's a lot better because I like to lift heavy but also like to lift safe. Form is important. Always pay attention to form. I've been doing it for six years and my form still isn't perfect, so I'm always trying to better my form. Like I said in the video earlier, quality over quantity. Always pay attention to your form. Form is everything. I will be back with another workout video, maybe in a week, maybe in a couple weeks. When I don't feel like hitting the gym, I still hit it at home. So this is Uno Warner. Peace out.